Of course, pottery is an age-old art form, but a Wallingford artist has taken it high-tech and it is pretty amazing to watch. Gwendolyn Elliott from Seattle Magazine shows us how it works. <laughs> 3D printing is here. People are doing all kinds of things with 3D printing, but I've never seen it applied in fine art and in ceramics. Mm -hmm. Tamiya Tihani, she is a artist and sculptor and lecturer, studied under Akio Takamori at the University of Washington. I'm a really curious person and I just basically wanted to know how this is going to work. It is a potter bot made by 3D Potter. It starts with a computer software. I can draw out basically the form in the computer space and this would become the form of the object. The printer, it's not doing the work, it's not making the work for her. She's working on developing the codes and the formulas and then they put this into the printer and the printer spits out this piece of pottery that she has to really keep an eye on. She doesn't know how it's going to look when it comes out or what's going to happen. After it prints, the next step is just like any other ceramic process. It would have to be glazed, it would have to be fired. Every aspect of ceramics is the same. People have had experience working with clay. They know that there is no way by hand to do anything like this. Because I'm a visual artist, I very rarely ever do two of the same thing. I, what's exciting is to always see what else can I do. Where is that area where nobody else has ever gone? I really like how she's exploring the, the union between science and technology and art and, and what the possibilities are. There's so much that could be done with ceramic 3D printing right now that it's mind-boggling. Like, I think I need to just copy myself to be able to go 10 different ways. Oh, that is such a cool process. And if you would like to see Tamea's work in person, her first solo show is happening right now at Linda Hodges Gallery through September 1st. And for more information about her and other arts in our area, check out the August issue of Seattle Magazine.